guys. So I have been getting so many requests on Instagram lately to do more hair to the 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 to do more hair tutorials and I always forget to do hair tutorials just because I feel like for so long I did them and I kind of was just always doing the same things over and over again. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave like a little playlist down below in the description where you guys can check out all my old hair tutorials, like my main ones. So like loose curls, beach waves, um, any like braid tutorials. I might redo them since I've kind of switched it up a bit. It's up to you, whatever you're interested in. When I posted this picture on Instagram, I asked you guys if you want to see a hair tutorial for that because it's quite different than what I normally do and all of you said yes. I love doing that by the way on Instagram, just like asking you guys questions and like telling you to leave an emoji. It's so much fun. If you guys are interested in following me on Instagram, I'll leave a link down below right here basically this tutorial literally takes five minutes it's like the fastest thing ever you guys know me you know I don't use heat a lot but on there are days where I do want to use heat like I do want to curl my hair or I'm in a rush or you know I have an event to do and I just want my hair to look extra snazzy but you know take no time to do it because let's be honest I'm lazy there are minimal products that you need the first thing you need is a hairbrush if you have tangly hair if you have naturally smooth beautiful hair I hate you. Basically, this is a really disgusting, dirty hairbrush. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. This one is just from Forever 21, super cheap. Then this is the Tresemme heat protectant spray. This is the one that with the, it says Keratin Smooth. I don't know, it was on sale, that's why I bought it. I don't know if it does anything different from the other one. They kind of work the same in my opinion. And then the other thing that is optional for this would be some hair texturizing spray. This one is by Amika. Um, you guys know I love Amika, but there are some from Bumble and Bumble that are really good and honestly those are my two favorite. I haven't tested out a bunch of texturizing sprays or creams, but if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. Love to check that out. The last thing and the most important thing would be just a curling wand and you can use any curling wand you like. This is just a, I think this is a one inch or one and a half inch curling wand. I believe it's one and a half inch because it's a bit bigger than the one inch. And then the last thing, this is completely optional, but you guys know I love me some extensions. And I suggest you to put your extensions in and then curl your hair with the extensions in just that way it looks more natural. But I just did my hair the other day and as you all know, um, if you've watched my extensions video, that I don't wash my extensions that often since it's not good and they still have the curls in them so I'm not gonna redo it but I mean if you do your if you curl your extensions beforehand it still looks good once you blend it all in it's fine I have like medium length hair like it goes past my boobs but I add the extensions to give it a bit more length and volume and all that stuff and it's just fun especially if you're going to event awesome anyways I'm rambling like I always do I know I know I know I know let's just get into it so I have really really knotted hair so I just like to brush my hair out when my hair is damp I use a wide tooth comb, but I've been told, and correct me if I'm wrong because I don't know this, but um, when you have dry hair, you should use a detangler or a brush to get out the knots, and when your hair is wet, you should use a wide tooth comb. Um, I think that just prevents breaking, I'm not too sure, but be gentle with brushing your hair. So once you have pretty much brushed through your hair, I just use my heat protectant spray, and this just ensures that you're not damaging too much of your hair. I like to also just brush through my hair to distribute it evenly. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> and then the next thing that I do, this is like the most simple thing ever, but I literally split my hair. I mean, you could do whatever kind of part you want. I'm just kind of doing this for now. I split my hair in two, then I grab a section. Ooh. And I, okay, this is kind of weird to explain, but I will take the arm that has the curling and put it over my head and then wrap this around like that. I leave it for around 10 seconds and then I let it drop into my hand. And you got a little bouncy curl and I just throw it back. And a trick that I do that I've always kind of, I've said this in like every hair tutorial before, um, I switch directions, so sometimes I'll go away from my face and sometimes I go towards. And then also sometimes I make sure that the hair is lying flat on the barrel like you see here. And sometimes I twist the hair as I'm twisting around. You'll see in a sec 
what I mean by that. And I always leave a little strand not being curled like this, if you can see. Like, I don't curl the whole strand, so it's more like straight on the ends. Here, I'm gonna do opposite direction now. But you'll see I'm just kind of like twisting the piece as I'm twisting it around the barrel. And this just kind of ensures that every single piece is a bit different, none of them are uniform, and it doesn't look like Shirley Temple hair. <laughs> also for section wise, I take around this size, a bit bigger, a bit smaller, every section is different. The reason why I do that is because, like I said before, you don't want your curls to be uniform, and when you do it this way, it just looks more natural. It looks more like you have like, I don't know, beachy hair, especially when you put the texture spray in it, it just looks really nice. It looks more messy, and you guys know me. Oh no. <laughs> you know I love messy hair. That's just like my thing. I love when hair just looks really messy. I don't know why. I make sure to never curl from the top of my head, meaning like I'll never curl from the roots. I'll always start around quarter or halfway down. Like I'll never go from up here. I'll always go from like here. So when I get close to my face, I just make sure to do all the pieces going away from my face. That way it looks more windblown. It's like my biggest pet peeve when girls do curls towards their face. I don't know why. I just find it really not flattering and it really bothers me. But <laughs> again, it's up to you. So as you can see, this side is completely done. I know it looks a little crazy now, but don't worry because we're going to fix all of that up in a second. I'm so over winter, guys. I'm so jealous of you that live in such a nice hot climate because it's still snowing where I live. Like I'm looking out the window right now and it's a blizzard. It's literally a blizzard and it's the middle of March and it's still gonna snow into April where I live. I'm just so excited. If you guys didn't know, I'm going to Florida uh, tomorrow, Thursday. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm getting up to in Florida, be sure to follow both of my Instagram accounts because I'll be posting on both. One's more Tumblr-y and like artsy and it's like my personal account, and then one is more like fashion related. You can go check them out if you're interested. Also on my vlogging channel, I will be vlogging the whole trip. I'm super excited, I'm doing a shoot when I'm there, so it's gonna be so fun. That's honestly all I'm getting up to. What are you guys up to? What are, like, are you traveling anywhere soon? Are you in school? Are you working? What are you up to? I'm curious to know. Okay, another thing that I will do is you see how like, there's some curly pieces here. I'll literally just go like this with my curling wand to straighten them out. Now that that's all done and it kind of looks like a little bit of a mess, I mean, it's all up to you, but I like to shake it out. I'll flip my hair. I'm gonna give it a good tossle with my fingers. Break up the curls a little. Now. If you have naturally very straight hair and you find that the curls don't hold well in your hair, I would probably skip the step where you're really, really going crazy with your fingers. I'd maybe slowly go through with your fingers, but use hairspray. Um, I personally don't need hairspray because my hair naturally keeps the curl really well. So like I can actually have these curls for days and not have to use hairspray. Um, I guess I'm lucky that way, but if you feel like you need hairspray, now's the time to apply some. So it's just gonna look like this. And honestly, you can leave it like this if you want. I think it looks great, but if you wanna add in the extensions to make it look more like that picture, that's what I'm gonna do now. So the first thing I do, I do this like super quick. I'm so messy when it comes to putting in my extensions. I do not do them like perfectly. I grab all my hair in a ponytail, except for literally the smallest little section in the back. Then I put the smallest, like the shortest clip. Yes, these don't match my roots, but I have ombre hair and they match my ends, so that's why. Um, and I'll just clip it in the back. It's literally a clip, so you clip it in looks like this let my hair down and then I just do section by section I'll never go up above my ears though like I'll, I'll keep it down below so that you don't see the clips popping out anywhere if you're curious as to which extensions I'm using these are by foxy locks I tag them in like every single Instagram post if you want to check out their Instagram account 
Um, but these are the 24 inch sandy blonde extensions and that's the color of my of my ends not my roots Obviously my roots are just my roots. It's my natural hair color. I love these extensions I find they're like this is not sponsored by the way guys like they just work really well with my hair They don't annoy my head. I can wear them for a long time and not be annoyed um, They're super soft and they're thick at the ends Which is really great because I had old extensions that were like thin at the ends and it just looked gross This is what it looks like if I go up now obviously I would fix this so that the curls kind of match but for the purpose of this video I mean you guys can pretty much tell what I'm trying to do yeah and the last thing I would do is just to add in some texture spray so woo. I honestly mainly put this for the smell because it smells so good And then you can put your hair parted any way you want. You can add volume if you want. Um, I love volume, but I, I don't feel like teasing my hair right now, so I'm not gonna add any volume. But um, another trick would be just to blow dry your hair um, when it's like 80% dry. If you get out of the shower and you just blow dry it upside down, that'll give you a lot of volume. It's these pieces here that always like piss me off, that I always have to like go over because I have like little dents, but I think this hairstyle looks awesome. I love it with the extensions. I just think it makes it look so full. I wish my real hair looked like this. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let's try to get it to 4,000 thumbs up. That would be pretty awesome. I never usually ask you guys in my videos to click the thumbs up button a certain amount of times if you guys want to share the video and tell them to thumbs it up that would be awesome because it just makes me really happy and I like trying to like get new goals and stuff because it's fun and if you do enjoy my videos don't forget to click the little subscribe button which is down below and follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram and all of those places I'll have it all listed down below it's fun we can all connect and become friends through social media I've actually met girls through um, doing this and we've actually become really good friends so it's pretty awesome that like I don't know the internet is pretty sweet and if you have any other suggestions for hair tutorials or any other videos you'd like to see please leave them down in the comments below I hope you guys are enjoying your day and I will see you all on the weekend bye guys <laughs>